Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining us again for those of you who are already subscribers to the channel. Today's video is a very different one, it's one we haven't done before and so um, I am now doing this video retrospectively just to say that we are on our way or we've made our way down to Bridlington and we have travelled down from Scotland. So um, for those of you who may not know, um, Bridlington is in Yorkshire, in England, in the UK and um, Scotland obviously is Scotland in the UK. Now you can tell it's our first time doing a travel vlog because we forgot to do the very beginning. So I do apologise but we had a lot of things to do this morning before we left and uh, we had to sort out our dog, we had to sort out James and Logan's haircuts etc. You can just imagine how it was. The weather was horrible as well and so we were sort of carting stuff in and out of the car um, from the house and it just it was just a bit miserable to be honest so I do apologise apologize. we didn't manage to do that this time but we'll know for next time to make a conscious effort. So um, basically we will put in a few clips of us travelling down, a sort of car journey if you like um, and we also have a wee tour of the house which we will add in as well. Now just a little bit of a backstory um, that I will touch on very briefly in the sort of tour video is that the house we're staying in is in the lovely seaside town of Bridlington. So that is in the East Riding of Yorkshire in the UK. Um, so this home was James and James James's gran and granddad's home. So when he was young, him and his, his sister and his brother used to spend many, many um, you know, summer holidays, Easter holidays here with his grandparents. And it's a really, really special place for him and his family to still have. Unfortunately, um, towards James's grand's end stage of her life, I was incredibly grateful to meet her just the once. Um, and sadly, she, she died um, very soon after that. Um, but it was a real privilege to meet her. And obviously, we're here in this lovely home. And uh, we will obviously treat it with utmost respect. And I think, as I've said in the little clip, um, it has been done up to an incredibly high standard by James's dad and uh, we're very happy to be here today. So um, I hope you enjoy our little travel vlog video. It isn't something we've done before but we wanted to give a little bit of a background to the rest of our holiday here. We are here for about a week, um, maybe just under, maybe just over. We're, we're flexible in dates. Um, so we're going to try to bring you guys along on our adventures with food included of course as usual and if we can pick up some new to good to go bags to show you guys what you can get then we will do that as well. Now we have been here a couple of times together since we since we met in 2020 and um, we unfortunately haven't been able to come down here for a couple of years due to work, Covid etc. But we're here now, we're really looking forward to exploring the local area. A lot of things will have opened up and sadly a lot of places will have closed down and that is just the reality of I think where most retailers are at the moment. Um, but I'm looking forward to getting down to the seaside, to the beach and like I said, if we can, we'll take you along with us and hopefully you enjoy us, enjoy it with us. Um, so thank you so much for watching and like I said, there'll be some more clips following up and I hope you enjoy them. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later.
Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed our little tour of the journey down here from Scotland to Yorkshire. We're just about to go inside and do a quick tour of our accommodation for the week. Um, but this is a really special place for us because it used to be James's grand's house and unfortunately James's grand and granddad are no longer with us. But it has been lovely, um, lovely con converted inside so we have the pleasure of staying here for the week. So let's take a look inside and see what it's like. So we have our nice spacious hallway. This whole home has been renovated from start to finish. Um, because it is a bungalow, we'll just quickly go into this room here. And this is probably the master bedroom. So we have nice big, I would say, king or super king size bed. Um, it is absolutely lovely. All very modern and decorated inside as well as you can see and we've got some nice um, storage units in here for our belongings. We also have a Jack and Jill um, accommodation um, en suite in here too. So we'll just show you inside and we also have, if it does it, is it going to do it? <laughs> the toilet seat does go up when it wants to I think but let me just show you this. Oh there you go. It's an all singing, all dancing toilet. It's the best toilet I've ever used. So um, yeah, if, if you're here later on, we'll maybe show you <laughs> show you how it works. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's Jack and Jill. We do have a big shower here, walk-in shower. And we also have another bedroom off of this room as well. So just come through here, put this light on, forgetting my, my role here. Um, but yeah, we have another big, huge bed. Um, I just want to dive onto it, but I'll save myself for now. Um, again, we've got lovely um, furnishings and lots of space in here as well. And a wee peek into the back garden, which is lovely. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just walk back into the hallway again and I'll show you the next room. So another bathroom. Another another fancy toilet um, and a nice big bath, which honestly, after that journey, I'm really looking forward to. It has rained the whole way here. And as you know, on the motorway, that slows everything down. So I think we just need to have a chill out night tonight before we start all of our other activities for the rest of the week, starting tomorrow. So again, it's been really highly um, you know, refurbished and renovated, I suppose, is the right term. But we've got lots of nice sort of fixtures and fittings in here and um, looking forward to it, looking forward to using it all again. And we're now in the lounge or the living room or the sitting room, whatever you want to call it. And um, we've got a big lovely L-shaped sofa here, which is very comfortable. I've had several naps on it in the past. Um, big TV and a big kind of sort of cuddle chair. Um, we do have James's son with us and I know this will be his chair and he will be quite happy sprawled across, which I'm sure any four year old would be. Um, and then we have our kitchen area. So it's all open plan in here. So there's a huge space. We've got a nice dining table as well and lots of lovely, really high quality again fixtures and fittings and I love specifically I love this this big hob um, it really is one of my favorite things in this house and um, but I do love cooking and it gives me lots of space so um, yeah lots and lots of nice space in here to use and hopefully show some of you guys at home a too good to go bag or two whilst we're here so we'll just take a wee step down into sort of conservatory room again we do have another TV in here, but it is just a bit of a sort of chill out area. And uh, yeah, it's nice to sit down for a minute rather than sitting in the car. Um, we do have outside, but because it is quite rainy at the moment, we'll maybe do another video outside if we can later. We have got a little disposable barbecue with us, depending on how the weather changes. We might do some um, videos, including that during our stay here as well. And we've got a lovely sort of sunlight um, area coming in as well. So 
I hope you guys have enjoyed this little snippet of our sort of travel day so far and uh, we'll catch up with you later. Thank you for watching.